Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a sample paper three exam. I got this from the He's Revision book. If you saw my last video, you know that I'm obsessed with this book. My kids are obsessed with this book. It's absolutely fab. It's all online and you have loads and loads of sample papers. So we're going to be looking here today at trial examination, not two, but trial examination one, and I'm going to be doing one of the questions. I love this question. I really enjoyed this question because it's all about odd and even functions. That's something new that wasn't on the course previously. And so I don't, as a teacher, have many past paper questions to work with. We're going to start out by saying, what is an even function? Okay. An even function, a function is even if f of minus x, I'm going to put that in brackets, is equal to f of x or plus f of x. Let's do a quick example here. We can test this function f of x equals to x squared. If I replace x with minus x here, okay, what, what would that, what effect would that have? Well, I would have a minus x here squared, but that would be minus x times minus x, which would end up being x squared, which is still f of x. So let's consider graphically what an even function looks like. Okay, an even function is symmetric around the y-axis. Uh, and why is that? If I take a point here, for example, this is my point here, we would agree that, or I hope we would agree, that a point on this curve would be 2, 4. Well, let's have a look why. That's x, y. y equals x squared, or f of x equals x squared. And we all know that 2 squared is equal to 4. So that's a point on the curve, right? So in this case, that's my f of x. Now here, looking at minus 2, would be my f of minus x, which means in this case, well, we already proved that x squared, in this case, we would have f of minus 2 would be equal to minus 2 squared, which would be equal to 4. So we can see that f of minus x is always equal to the same as f of x. I can take another point here and check it. Let's have a look at minus 1 and 1. So I can see here that f of 1 is equal to 1 but f of minus one is also equal to one. So that's an even function, okay? Let's consider a different function. Let's consider what an odd function is. This is an example. I'm gonna call this g of x, and I'm gonna say that's x cubed. So we're looking now at an odd function. So we're gonna have g of minus x here, minus x cubed, which would be minus x times minus x times minus x, which would be minus x cubed. But remember, we said that x cubed was g of x, so that would be minus g of x. So this is an odd function. Okay, now let's consider what its graph looks like. If I take, for example, a point here, so in this case, I'm looking at the point one, one, x is one, y is one, which means that f of one is equal to one, which makes sense, right, guys, because x cubed is one. Now, if I look in this case at minus one, okay? Okay, so here I'm looking at minus one, and I can see that it has a y value of minus one. So in this case, we have f of minus one, okay, which is this point here, is equal to minus f of 1. We can take a different point that might be easier to see. I'm going to zoom out here, guys, and look at another point. So let's have a look at the point 2, 8. So think, where would you expect, if we know that f of 2 is equal to 8, we know this is an odd function, and an odd function has the rules that f of minus x equals minus f of x, okay? So where would we expect f of minus 2 to be? Well, it should be at minus whatever f of x was, so at minus f of 2. f of 2 is at 8, so f of minus 2 should be at minus 8. And let's go and have a look at our graph and see if that's true. It is true. You can see here, this is the point here. 
this is minus 2 and this is minus 8. So if we look at the characteristics of the graph, it's not exactly the reflection in the y-axis. So the even function was reflected like this. However, if you were to reflect it once in the x-axis and then mirror it in the y-axis, you would have a reflection. So in this video, I hope you learned what odd and even functions are. Now we're ready to get started on that paper three question. Thank you.